After two months, I learned why my girlfriend got kicked out of her house. She's a literal piece of shit. She slowly stops caring about the rules I have. No longer helping out with chores. Only eats fast food if I don't cook. Sometimes spends too much of her money on makeup or food or other bullshit and can't pay for her half of the bills. If she doesn't want it, she won't pay for it. So things like paper towels, soap, and other cleaning supplies are all on me. It eats at me, but the sex is great, so I'm willing to ignore most of it. Stuff I won't ignore is anyone messing with my hermit crabs. Gary, Gollum, and Crystal are fucking sacred. Lay down the law about being loud and obnoxious. Went so far as to fuck with the cords on the TV so the sound quality is shitty and you have to use the wireless headphones I bought. They're damn good though. Eventually found cigarettes on the table. Made it 100% clear that she can't smoke in the house. She makes up an excuse that she only does it outside once in a while. She forgets to feed my crabs when I ask her to, so I have to adjust their eating habits for a bit. She asks if she can invite a friend over. Just don't be too loud. Friend isn't too bad. They come over a few times. Eventually, she stops asking if she can bring people over. Just starts bringing them without asking. One friend becomes two. Two friends become three. Each person louder than the last. Group becoming exponentially louder. Started to notice it was taking a toll on Crystal. Gary even seemed displeased with everything. Tell her to not bring people over. By this time, at least 15 different people had come to my apartment one time or another. Sometimes in groups, sometimes alone. She seems to take it as don't bring people over when I'm home. Only a week after I told her, I start to see the crabs showing signs of being scared and unwell again. Come home early one day and I catch her with friends over. She just says, sorry and plays it off. She didn't stop, though. Start messing with hours so I work similar shifts as her. Can't do much about it because of school schedule. Eventually, I start to smell Febreze and candles everywhere when I get home. Come home one day to see girlfriend and her friends ripping a bog five feet from the hermit crabs. I'm fucking pissed. But I don't start screaming. Don't want to hurt the crabs more. I quickly grab the crabs, not too quickly to hurt them though. Put them in a small tank that I keep in my room. Girlfriend sees me glaring at her and her friends the whole time. Somehow takes angry silence as an okay to go back to smoking. Come back out and see everyone still there. Ask everyone to leave pretty nicely. Girlfriend seems peeved and tries to get me to let them stay. I'm not having it, and I make everyone leave. Talk at her. Not talk with her, but at her. There's no room for discussion. Tell her I won't let her smoke in my house ever. Nobody can come over anymore ever again. If she doesn't like it, she can move. She's pissed, but I shut her down every time she tries to argue back. She stays at a friend's place that night. Crabs chill in my room the next few days. A month passes by. Girlfriend still annoys me, but in smaller, infrequent doses. Eventually ease up and agree to let her have someone come over every once in a while. A nice ass has mystical powers. Turns out, as soon as I let off a little bit, she went back to her old ways. Bitch is the fucking epitome of a pain in the ass. Two weeks after I let her have a friend over, she throws a small party in my apartment. Music blaring with at least eight people inside. Can't find girlfriend. I'm freaking out. People are smoking in my room. Start to panic. Grab the hermit crab's bowl to put them in the bathroom. They're gone. Not in the goddamn bowl. Full blown panic. Find them 10 seconds later on the bed. Fucking stoners took them out to play with. Crabs are losing their shit too. 
They're confused as fuck, scared, and all the other bad shit that they shouldn't be. Crystal isn't moving. Can't process this. Put them in the bathtub, lock the door, lose my shit. Yell at everyone to get out. Grab stereo and unplug it. Still losing my shit. Guy confronts me about who I thought I was. I'm the guy that pays the fucking rent. Fuck off. Girlfriend finds me. She was in the kitchen with people I didn't see. Start yelling at her. The floodgates open. Say everything about her that has been pissing me off. Mention her hermit crabs a lot. Literally 90% of what she does that I hate also hurts the hermit crabs. I don't give a fuck about you stupid fucking hermit crabs. She starts bashing me for all the love and care I give to them. Calls me stupid for having a gay ass fucking pet and not having some stupid fucking normie pet like a cat. That just pissed me off more knowing that the hermit crabs saved my life. I'm not letting this go. Tell her to collect all of her things and get out of my house. She tells me she's not leaving. I start throwing her shit out of my room. Throw it in bags and toss it out of the window. I would have thrown her out the window too. Eventually, I calm down. Girlfriend already at her friends. Grab crab bowl from out of my room. Go back to the bathroom to get hermit crabs back into the bowl. Pick up Gary and Gollum and put them back in their home. Go for Crystal. Crystal is limp. Why? Crystal has died. The stress of being passed around with all the smoke and noise must have killed her. Cry on the spot. Get Gary and Gollum from inside the bowl and take them to the bigger tank. They're home again. Gary looks up at me. It's as if he's expecting Crystal. Crystal doesn't come home. Crystal never came home. Spend the entire night cleaning my house, putting everything from the party away, putting my ex's leftover stuff into boxes. Can't sleep that night. Call out of work the next day to throw a little funeral for Crystal. Keep her shell and put it next to Undine's. I cried a lot. Girlfriend tries to show up a few days later, but I just tell her to give me her key. I'm not angry. I just want it to be over. I blamed her for everything. I eventually ended up quitting my job where we still both worked. I never want to see her again. A few months went by. Gary seemed sad for the first couple of weeks. He must have missed Crystal. Gollum didn't change much at all in his ways. He's a cold little bastard, but he's still my adorable cold little bastard. Never ended up buying another crab to replace Crystal. Never ended up missing girlfriend either. Gary and Gollum are the only company I need right now. I eventually got back into the groove of my life. It's a happy, quiet life. It's been a year today since Crystal passed. Rest in peace. Well, wasn't that an amazingly depressing trip down memory lane? Well, at least there was a little bit of happiness at the end there. You always need that little bit of ray of sunshine at the end of that really shitty rainbow. Rain cloud. Rainbow. Rainbow cloud. Anyway, I'd like to thank the following new supporters on Patreon. Uh, we got a we got a bunch of them. Thank you. We got Milton P, Torkel Hansen, Gotolf Gotler, Barilli Danielle, and Anza Power. I'd like to thank all of you. And if you'd like to support me as well, and you're currently not, shame on you. But here's a button you can press. See if I can put my hand in the spotlight. There we go. Hand, the button's here. And if you'd like to subscribe, here's a button for that as well. If I can make After Effects do the things I wanted to do. Anyway. 
We'll see. See you next week. Bye. No, don't fall. Don't not fall. Do not fall. It's going to be very expensive if you fall.